Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today we are going to make a reaction video on my tutorial. Okay, so let's go. Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to... Okay, so first thing about this tutorial is that you have a light behind me. So it is very annoying for audience to see that light. Maybe next time I have to move it out of the frame. And the second thing, we can see that the character is not at the center of the frame. All right, so that is a short reaction video that I created with Filmora 11. I saw some comments on my YouTube channel asking me about how to make a reaction video. So in this tutorial, I will show you step by step on how to make a reaction video, which is the viewing screen recording software inside Filmora 11. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so as you can see here, this is the example timeline. And I have a background image right here, and I have a screen recording here, and I have also another screen recording here. But I just duplicate the first screen recording to get two screen recording video, okay? And right here, we have a title, and the title is very simple to add in Pimora, right? And this is the elements of the arrow. As you can see, I, when I point to the, the light and when I point to my character, and it is also in the element tab in Filmora also. All right, so let's start from the beginning. So let's delete everything first. So first thing, if you want to make a reaction video of another one video on the internet, just make sure that you have the permission to use that video, okay? Otherwise, you will have some copyright issue and it is very annoying for YouTuber. Okay, so for me, I'm going to react to one of my YouTube videos, so it's okay because I just react to my video, my material. So I will not have any copyright issue. For example, this one, I would just open it. Okay, so it has advertisement at the beginning, so let's... Okay, and we can skip the editing video you need. Okay, and now let's put the video at the beginning so it is ready and we are ready with the screen and now we need to use the screen recorder inside Filmora 11 to do that let's go back to Filmora 11 right inside the video editor you can use the screen recorder also just go back to your media okay so at the media you can click this button record so this is a menu and you can select record PC screen okay just hit that button and now it will have a screen recorder which you can use to record your computer screen and your webcam at the same time. All right, so this is a screen recorder and this is a toolbar. The first thing you need to select the screen first. So I am going to select full screen because uh, we should have a screen of the video and then we should have a screen of the webcam. So we need to have enough space on our screen. Okay, for, so for the screen, we can select full screen. And at this option is the audio from your system sound. So you can select the audio from your system sound right here. Be sure to turn it on. And it is a microphone. You want to select the microphone that you want to do the voiceover. Okay, so I'm going to select the microphone here. And it is the USB microphone that I'm going to use for this example. And the next thing, you want to click more setting because you have to set up your webcam also. Okay, so just put it right here and just click here at the more setting. And now you want to turn on your camera stream or your face cam. Uh, it is very important. So I have uh, this webcam on my laptop and this webcam from my 800D. But uh, now I'm currently using the Canon 800D as a webcam for this video. So I just need to select this one, the integrated webcam. And the next thing, you can adjust the webcam position and size and also make it close to my face so that I can see it. If you use the Canon 800D, the quality of the web, the video will be uh, much better, okay? I can just put it right here at the size of the video and increase the size right here. I think it should be okay. And the next thing, you want to start the, your screen recording and then play the video. Okay, so I'm going to start. And then I can play the video here. And let's start the reaction video. Okay. 
Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So in this video, so whenever I want to stop the video and come on, on my video, I just stop it and then I'm you know, talking something about my video and then I can hit space bar to space bar to play the video. Video, I'm going to show you how to import video image and music to Filmora 11. And let's stop and when when you do the voiceover, if you mess up or you forgot something or something like that, you can easily delete that part in Filmora later. Okay, so don't worry. And even when you finish the video, you can find the screen recorder right here and then you can adjust the webcam to here or something like that. You can delete it later or cut it and delete the rest later easily in Filmora 11. Don't worry. Okay, so now I just stop the reaction video and then I want to just open the recorder and stop it. Okay, so now I will be back in Filmora video editor and let's close the screen recorder. Okay, so now I'm inside Filmora 11 and let's put my laptop down a little bit so I can see it better. So the next thing you want to put the, the screen recording video to the timeline. Okay, just put it. And the first track on the timeline and let's map to media or keep the project setting it's okay just map to media and this is the first screen recording video and i can play the video here and let's start the reaction video okay hey guys welcome to another tutorial okay so first thing we need to cut out the beginning of the screen recording because i talked something okay so to do that, we can just split the screen recording right here and then delete this part and move it to the beginning. Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. So in this video, so whenever I want to stop the video and... Okay, and the next thing, you want to create some special effect for your screen recording and also for your webcam so, you, so that you have two separate video. Okay, to do that, all you need to do is to copy this video. Just press Ctrl C to copy, and then you want to click at the beginning of the track above the video. So it turn black, and then you can want to press Ctrl V to paste it. And you have two video overlay on each other. And remember to mute the audio of the first one. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to another. Very nice, right? So now I'm going to create a crop effect for the first video. So we use this video. Okay, to do that, we can go to effect and then search for the crop effect. And here, just drag and drop to the first video. Just drag and drop to this video on the timeline. Okay, and the next thing, we want to hide the bottom video so that we can see the crop effect better. And to adjust the crop effect, all you need to do is to double click at the video here and then go to effect. And now you see the crop effect and now you can adjust the left. Oh, too much. Okay. I just want to adjust it so that I can keep a, a small border here around the, the white border. And for the right and the top and the bottom also, you can do the same. Just adjust it. 27, uh, maybe, I, can, I think 27 is, should be okay, no, 26, 26.5, oh shit, no, 28, uh, okay, should be 27.7, .7. very nice, and for the top and bottom, I can adjust the border again, okay, and for the top, bottom, you can make it smaller. Okay, I think it's very nice. By the way, you have to adjust it yourself so that it can fit your need. Uh, so we finished with the first one and let's click OK. Okay, and the next thing, we want to adjust the webcam video. Okay, so to do that, we can just lock this track and then we can turn on this track at the bottom. And for this webcam video, we only need to use the image mask Okay, to do that, we can double click at the video and then select mask. And now we can select the rectangular, rectangle, I'm sorry, rectangle. Okay, just click on that 
And now you can move the rectangle to the position of the webcam and adjust the size to make it fit with the webcam. Okay. Just be patient on this and then we can adjust the top. And right. And we can also adjust the corner here. Also, if we want to make it a square one. Okay, so for me, I think it's okay. But you can adjust the size and the left and right corner according to your need. Okay, and let's click OK. And the next thing, we want to have a background right here. You can use an image or video as a background. It's up to you. But for me, I already downloaded a, an image right here. So let's go to my download for the edit stock media. I have this image. Just drag and drop it to the bottom track right here. And then it, it is not fit the screen. So all I need to do is to right click at the image and select crop to fit so that I have a beautiful image like this and just extend the background image to the duration of the video. And if you want to move your webcam to this position and adjust the position of this video, it is very easy. For example, you can lock this one and then unlock this one, this screen, and all you need to do is to select it and then you can adjust it to, to another position on the screen and, and lock it again. And for this one, I can unlock it and click on that and then I can adjust it, move it to here at the center, for example. Okay, video, and then I can hit space bar to space bar. So that's easy, right? And if you want to add an arrow lima example, all you need to do is to go to the element tab right here, and then you want to find the arrow. Arrow right here, and there are many arrow for you. Okay, for example, I use this one, so just drag and drop it here on top track here, and then we can play. play, and then we can resize the arrow and rotate it and point it to the light right here. Okay, like this. To Filmora 11. Okay, so if you want to delete a section right here, all you need to do is to select all of them. Okay, just unlock all of them, and then you want to select the video, both video, and then you want to split them. Okay, and then you want to select them again right here at the split position and split them again, and now you can delete them right here. Easy, right? And do not de just delete one one video track here because two video tracks are synchronized with each other. Okay? And then we can just move it to the position. And now you have a video. Oh, you forgot something. You can easily... All right, so that is how to make a reaction video with Vimura 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. And if it is, let me know in the comment section below. And also hit the like button. If you are new here, consider to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And you can also watch more videos on my channel here and subscribe here. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.